Welcome to Xara Template Tutorial Lesson Number 97. In this Xara Web Designer MX Premium Version 8 Software Tutorial, I'm going to talk about how to use the Clip to Page Edges feature and how to enable or disable that feature. And the reason that I'm making this tutorial is I had a YouTube viewer request on how to use that feature. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you want to do is go ahead and go to your toolbar and you already know what shape I'm going to choose, the rectangle. So let's go ahead and place that in our workspace. And his question was basically this, you know, if you place an object close to the edge of the screen and don't worry about me changing the color on screen here, it's just kind of a habit. But basically what happens is he has a, a object that's on the edge of his web page that goes halfway into the gray area and half into the white area of his workspace. And he doesn't want it to cut that image off. So let's go ahead and go to file preview web page and I'll show you exactly where he's having problems. You can see that it only shows half of that rectangle. It doesn't show the full thing and he doesn't want it to cut that image. So what you could do so that it won't clip the edges of your image is you can go to utilities, web properties and go ahead and left click on that. And when you go to web properties, you're going to go to the tab that says website. So click on the website tab and at the very bottom of this menu, you'll see a section called other. And in that section, you're going to look for the option that says clip to page edges. And if that's enabled, it's going to cut this image off where it goes into the gray area. But if you uncheck that and hit apply and then go ahead and go back to file preview web page, you'll see that it shows the full rectangle. So that's how you use the clip to page edges feature. And you can enable or disable that depending on what you want your website to look like in terms of how it cuts the image to the edges. So I hope that this tutorial was helpful for that YouTube viewer. If it was, give us thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe, embed, comment, or share our video. Favorite it as well if you feel like it. And I hope that you stay tuned for future tutorials. Have a great day.